How do you create this cutting pattern that allows you to cut tubes at an angle? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. How do you create this little pattern that you wrap around the tube so that you can mark the tube and cut it at an angle? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'm going to show you how to create that cutting guide so that you can cut tubes at any angle that you want. Now this is called pattern development um, and you're going to need either a computer to do this or a pen and paper and uh, also a calculator. Uh, now the process that I'm going through I previously covered in one of our newsletters. So if you go to the Apogee website and if you go to the newsletter archives and you look for issue number 121 um, and if you go to that, that explains the process. Um, the first thing that we need to do when we're going to do this is to know the diameter of the body tube. So either you're going to have to measure it or if you're buying one from like say Apogee Components, um, we have all the diameters listed. Um, so I went to the 24 millimeter tube, which is what this is. And I look on this page and I'm scrolling down till I find the 24 millimeter by the 18 inch long tube. And it will give me the outer diameter right here at 0.976. So now we're going to start the process and we're going to use that diameter to draw a circle. So let me bring that up here. So um, what I've done here is I've gone ahead and drawn a circle. And if I look at the diameter of this, and you got to make sure that this is exact. Um, this is the exact diameter of the tube, plus what I did is I added 0 0.006 inches. And the reason for that is our little pattern is going to wrap around the outside of the tube. So this pattern has just a little bit of thickness, and we need to account for that. Or when we wrap it around, our edges won't line up. So you take the diameter plus 0 0.006 inches. Um, so if I look at the diameter here, um, I can see right here it's at 0.982 inches in diameter. So the next thing we want to do is we want to draw a side view of the tube and the angle at which it's cut. Now it doesn't matter the length of it. The most important thing is the angle. So if you wanted to make it, this is a 45 degree angle. Um, if you wanted to make it a 15 degree angle or a 30 degree angle, do that. Um, but then also extend the tube down a little bit because when you make the pattern, you want to make it long enough so that it's easy to wrap around. Um, so this is my side view. And if you notice, it's exactly the same um, diameter here. So this, and you know, so this has to be exact. Um, what I'm going to do is this line right here, if I extend it upwards, you can see that it touches the, the edge of the circle. And it's the same for this edge. Um, if I extend it up, it touches the edge of the circle. So that's how I know that this is exact. Um, and being exact is important in this process. Um, next, we want to divide the circle into a number of sectors. And, and it doesn't matter how many you draw, uh, but the more sectors you have, the more wedges, um, the more accurate your template will be later, and it will be easier to draw. Um, in my case, I divided it up into 24 pie-shaped wedges, so I got 24 lines. So here's number one, number two, three, and all the way around. Um, next, we want to take um, and extend a line from each of the points on the circle down here to the bottom of the tube. So, for an example, so if I extend this, I extended that one to where it touches, and I want to see exactly right there. Um, and then the same thing on this one, I'm just extending it downwards. So if I take a line, um, like if I extended this one down, I would, I would draw a straight line straight down and then extend this down like this. 
So now that this line right here, is the length of it is important. So I'm going to want to do that for all my points. Um, the, the fortunate thing is we only have to do half of the circle. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to speed this up and I'm going to draw all these lines here really quick. Okay, so now that I have all my lines extended, um, we're going to take and we need to draw a wrap that's going to go around the outside. So imagine a rectangle, um, but we need to know the length of that rectangle. So how do you get that? And this is where your calculator is going to come in. So we're going to take the diameter of our circle. Now remember, we've added 0 0.006 inches, and we're going to multiply that times pi. So I got 0.9. 82 inches times pi equals 3.085 inches. So that's the circumference of the circle. So I'm going to draw a line that is this length, but I want to draw it along the bottom of this um, side view. So. So there's my line right here. So next, what you can see is here is I've got a number of tick marks on this line. So where did those come from? Well, that comes from my circle right here. So I want to draw, um, I need to know the distance, this arc distance between this segment here and this one right here. So what is the length of that arc. And again, it's pretty simple geometry. We already know the total length of the whole circle. And so what we're going to do is divide the circle length, or the circumference, divided by the number of sectors that we have. Since we have 24, we're just going to take go back to our calculator, take that number, and divide it by 24. So the distance from that point to that point along the arc is 0.1285. So if I come down here on my, on my line, and if I draw a line right here, and if I make that line exactly 0.1285, and if I zoom in, there's my line. And you'll see that it, it, it's exactly that length. And so then what, what I do is I draw a line and then I draw another tick mark at it at the end of it. And then I'm just going to take that line, move it over, draw another line, move it over, draw another line until I get the full circumference of my circle, which is this one right here. So now we're getting really, we're moving along pretty fast. So uh, the way this is going to work is we're going to take this line right here, and this is going to be our starting point, and we're going to take that and we're going to slide it over till it gets to that first tick line. Then we're going to take the next line. I need to zoom in here because these two are really close. I'm going to take that line and I'm going to duplicate it and just drag it all the way over here to that point. Then I'm going to do the same thing with that one. And then this one. You can see where this is going, right? 
So we're going to do the same thing. And again, we're going to, um, like before, we only have to do half of it. <laughs> Actually, we got to do both sides. But um, the, the back half, you can see this, this arc is going to go like that. And let me uh, do this really quick. I'll do the whole pattern here. I'll start turning on layers that I have hidden. Okay, so now we're moving along pretty good, um, and you can kind of see this pattern developing. And basically, to create the pattern, we're just going to connect these top dots right here. So I'm just going to get a new tool, and I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm just going to connect from one point to the next, and it didn't connect. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to connect all these endpoints together. So I'm going to go from here to here to here to here. And there you go. We now have um, all the way around, this will be the pattern. And all we need to do is to cut this pattern out, wrap it around our tube, and we would get that pattern to cut this angle on the tube. Now, if you want to have a little bit of overlap piece, what you're going to need to do is to like uh, duplicate this little uh, trapezoid right here on the other side and so again we'll extend the line out draw a line up which is the same length as that one here and then draw another line across from here to here and that this little sector right here is actually the overlap piece um, that we'll use to so that the, the, the pattern goes all the way around. So this was the process of creating this wrap to be able to cut tubes at an angle. Now, it didn't take us too long. Um, it would probably take you twice as long as what I did here uh, but I think you can do it. This is not a really super hard process. It is pretty advanced and you only need to know the diameter of the tube and some simple formulas like what's the circumference of the circle, which is pi times the diameter. Um, and then we're going to divide that by the number of wedges that we had on our circle. So the math is pretty simple. You can do it. So my name again is Tim Van Milligan. You've been watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.